Fit like a bee, Danny Boy here, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 on the UK map. <coughs> Our Abelio Greater Anglia train is arriving at London Liverpool Street. I highly would doubt that anyone is there because there's no sort of transport links set up in any of the other, or no commuter links set up. It might work, it might get a few people here and there. Looks like a few people are converging. I think these were people getting off, so it must have had passengers at least on the return journey. Our city to coast train there, looking pretty good. One of 40. It should be heading out. Because it arrived before this one. Hmm. Interesting. But today we are going to get the, the goods train that we sort of sent away fixed up. Now, there is something we need to do. So this looks like plastic. It is. 28. Awesome. Uh, where are you? Ah, this one. 132 goods awaiting thus far. And it is arriving at Glasgow, where there is no truck to take it sort of anywhere. So we need to we need to remedy that, but there's a few things we need to do first and foremost. Now we do not have it stopping at Perth. It should stop at Perth and that is, well we'll start at Edinburgh first, so let's do it bit by bit, lest I do not forget. So it is stopping here. Okay, I'm going to get another sort of freight area for trucks over here. So buildings, we want that. Uh, get a warehouse. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, country new. Defense type. Wall C. Why the hell not? Uh, airfield gravel. City new. Okay, let's fare this, actually, into about here. And then I'll connect a road... Uh, we'll connect the road to it. We'll just have the trucks turn inside the warehouse uh, area. I'm not going to have them come out and go into here just in case. So we want a bit of that. Maybe make it curved. Uh, there is a slight hill. There is a large hill. Is that really that high up? Okay, that's quite hideous. Uh, okay, move you, move you back then. Uh, I don't really want to move it back. Uh, what we shall do is, we'll try and do a bit of smoothing here. Uh, from this point, smooth all this out. At least get it down. I mean, that looks not too bad. <coughs> Excuse me, what we should do is build the little road out first, right? You are going up. Let's have you just go flat. To about there. And then we will lad the warehouse. And it remembered the settings from the last time, so that is perfect. Uh, let's do a bit smoothing. Just around the perimeter of the warehouse. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It should be in range. It is in range. So let's do goods for this one because Edinburgh needs goods. Now where does Edinburgh's goods need to go? So around this area, some over here. In fact, most of it is over here. So if I sort of place that there, that should cover, it looks like it's covering most. So that'll be fine. And then we'll set up a couple of goods trucks. Is this? No, it's uh, this here. The Edinburgh Road Depot. We want cargo. What are we going to use for this? I think maybe using some vans or something. Yeah, get a couple of vans on the go. So we'll get like one of these. DHL man. Feet the cattle. Peugeot Bipper. And a Peugeot Boxer. Okay. Uh, we'll sit there making this for high. We have not made the line yet. So let's go do that. New line. Go from there. 
out to this truck stop right here. Uh, paint it as black. Change it to RDD. Whoops. RDD Goods EDIN. And then we can set them to go on their merry way. Right, so. No, don't manage line. Go to the depot. Select this. Find RDD Goods. Edinburgh. Right, so that is done. We then need to go over here. We actually need to select the train. Uh, actually, let's go here. Pick that, right? Now, it's currently bypassing this, but on the way down, we want it to actually stop here. So, let's have a look. So, Newcastle, Edinburgh. So, after Edinburgh, I would like you to hit up that. Okay, so it hates it. It does not like that route. I don't know why it doesn't. It should. It should be okay. Because it should be, yeah, it should be okay. It should be, right? Unless it's on a platform that it can't reach, but we'll, we'll sort of do this. Right, I think what it is saying is that it can't go... It's currently heading from Edinburgh to Glasgow. It's not reached Glasgow yet. And now that I've added this, the train has went, well, now I can't go back to here. So I think what we need to do is let the train run. Uh-oh, issues. Yeah, it was in a station, and because it was in a station, it hates it. All right. Go to Fort William. No. Stop four out of four. So now it's bypassing Glasgow, which is totally fine. So I'm just going to add it, right? I'm just going to add that other Perth station, right? So Perth. Now it works because it's past Glasgow. So on its way back the next time, it will stop in by Perth. Like that. Yeah, yeah it's going to stop quickly drop stuff off in there and then it's gonna hand round awesome right we need to get goods from over here now this area here is quite is fine it's a perfect little warehouse and then it can sort of like come out here and then go this way out to Perth and now Perth's goods looks quite I don't understand how it's managed to build out here I did claim all this as my own but I'm now at the point where I don't really care <laughs> I'm, I'm sort of fed up of the <clears throat> AI there is a patch coming apparently and in said patch if they could fix that sort of nonsense mechanic I would like to if a road is selected by the player even this so this area here Everyone has seen that this, I have selected this as mine, <clears throat> but the AI still try to build on it. And in my opinion, the AI should not build on motorway, highway, etc. It's extremely infuriating. <clears throat> and I'm going to, the next time, get guardrails and fences and stuff to put on the side of motorways to sort of prevent uh, lunacy like that from happening. Uh, happening. But it is, it is super annoying, and one thing it does do is it slows down traffic because uh, <clears throat> instead of vehicles just driving down the highway or motorway at speed to get to the next city or town they want to go to, it means you have people that will actually be driving down here and then they'll just stop in the middle of the road because they'll be going into one of these industries, etc. So it's really annoying. Uh, I really do hope that they fix it because a player owned road should mean not only that they can't build roads off of it, that houses can't be built there or it should be an option, maybe an extra option in here, say like player owned but player owned with no buildings because this is really annoying. In fact, I want to see if this has perhaps maybe been changed back. No, it is. It's all, it's all still mine. 
I mean, it's nice that the cities grow, but you sort of want them to grow <clears throat> where you want them to grow. I mean, I, I, I was going to build bypasses like this, basically around all the cities to try and cap them, but I, I now see that, yeah, see, this is a, like a little bypass road. There shouldn't be anything being built here, but there is. <laughs> so it's kind of pointless. It becomes a pointless exercise in futility. Right, are you a Glasgow Road Depot? You are. Is there a closer road depot to this? Maybe the one in Perth, but I'm going to launch the, the truck from here. So buy vehicles. And um, we'll get a screw fix truck? Maybe. <clears throat> Might just get like a couple of... I want an Argos truck. Buy. And I want an Eddie Stobart truck. Buy. Okay. Uh, set your maintenance for high. Send you into Perth. RDD goods Perth. Now the problem is with, uh, with these trucks is they take all cargo, so they might take a great many things. But I'm not massively concerned about that. Now, can I fit a warehouse in here? It would be absolutely fantastic if I could. Maybe even this, which actually is a lot larger than I <laughs> first anticipated. Yeah, that's going to fit in there. A few house, uh, houses and industries are going to bite the proverbial bullet. That's nice, because I need this here. This bus station here serves this station, which is nice, but we also need to serve this as well. <clears throat> There's a booze train in and out with the alcohols. Very nice. Uh, right, Glasgow is quite large. So I would imagine there's a large area that want goods. And none of them are near this freight station. Looks like some of them are over here. Sort of around about the city centre. Actually, this area looks perfectly fine. I'm going to go with that. Obviously, we're not going to get 100% coverage. I, I never actually ever have. 100% coverage in a Transport Fever 2 game before. The industries and the commercial buildings are widely sort of spread out. They, they sort of do as they wish. Now there is this freight station over here, but that's going to that's for servicing air. And air doesn't want uh, goods. So that's fine. Alright, line 1. This will be RDD goods. Glasgow. Right, now that is ready to go. Now the Glasgow truck stop is over here, which we know. Uh, let's have a look. Mission one man, I'm gonna get uh, one of these and one of these. Why the hell not? They're supposed to be French, but these do roll on UK roads. <clears throat> Maybe not as far north as Glasgow, but I'm sure they'll fit in just fine. So RDD Goose Glasgow. So that is that now set up. We don't look at any of our Peugeot Bipper vans. Or defeat the cows. Right, there is a tools route here. And there is stuff going up to Fort William. Comats and one good. So the truck that is taking Comats is a... Uh, fine apparently we'll check that out so it's going here we need that does it open need goods I've no idea so it's sort of coming down here let's see if we can see the stop the stop must be at this side so click on that and in fact click on that so what does this cover if I was to place that there yeah there are some goods I fear that yeah most of it is over here well, there's a large chunk of it over here. Right, place a stop in there and we'll add another, we'll add another route to Fort William. See, look at this. <laughs> Nonsense. Now, you do often get random houses at the side of waterways on the UK. And uh, normally people that refuse to take the obscene amount of money it costs to demolish their house in order to build the road. They sort of like 
stayed true to where they live, sort of stuck to their guns. Oh wait, there's a freight station right there and that's going to cover everything, so the goods truck that is running in here, probably Oban Tools 1, yeah, can take car mats. Now I might have changed the screw fix truck to only pick up tools, I did, uh, pick up goods as well, and then that will eliminate the need for another another route. Right, so buying vehicles here, uh, let's get an Eddie, Eddie Stobart number, buy it. Uh, set you on a line which is already, it should be line one because I don't think I've renamed it. So if it is line one you've blown past it in a, an incredible rate. Oh no, I didn't create the line. Okay, remember that that truck is in that depot. New line. Alright, go from... Is this thing full already? Can't be. Oh no, one of them is a drop-off line. That's fine. And then head out to there. Okay. Pinky Black. RDD. Goods. Fort. Awesome. Set you on your merry way. So RDD Goods. Oh, past it. There it is. Fort William. So now that should be Glasgow, Perth, and Edinburgh. All now able to to get goods. Quite a busy little area. This the central belt. Uh, there we go. There was a couple of our little vans. Nice to add a bit of variety here and there. It's the Citroen. What's the Citroen van again? And there's the Fiat Ducato. I thought it was a Peugeot, Peugeot van. What are you? Ah, oh, the Citroen jumper. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Need some Vauxhall Mavanos and Ford Transits. I think there are Ford Transit mod. Somewhere. Uh, it's a feat the cattle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, so they've got nothing yet, but the train has not been passed in some while, some time. There's a lot of machines and tool parts, etc., building up over this side. I don't know. Uh, Combat's machines building up here. I don't know if that is a good thing or a bad thing. I'm assuming it's going to be fine. One would assume. <laughs> right, so. <clears throat> we also want another train to head up the other way. Barrack upon Tweed does not want goods. But there are towns up here that do. We are covering Edinburgh, Perth, and Harvey Moore. What do you want? You want meat. Wait, you should... You should be getting meat. Perth Bread Factory. Perth Meat Processing Plant. Did I not send RDD meat have you more? And there are no vehicles on it, so that would be that would be the solution for that. Right, where's the road depot over here? I know there is one. I've launched trucks from here many times. Oh, it's one of those strange... There it is. Buy vehicles. <laughs> okay. Uh, these sort of take all cargo. Yeah, they take meat. Let's get an Asda truck. Buy. Let's get a Tesco truck as well. Buy. Uh, there is actually a Tesco's. An Avi Moore. Or there was. The last time I was there. RDD... Meat. Dundee, Inverness, Inverness. Avi. Off you go, boys. Start taking some meat over here. But the main thing is it doesn't want goods, right? No. It does want machines. We are building machines. Now, over here, there are places that do. Elgin wants goods, 92. So that's not a lot. Aberdeen. 
wants 90. That is not a lot either. Uh, whatever this line is, I think needs more trucks possibly. It might be okay. Because there's one arriving there. And it will take 42, so that's fine. Inverness doesn't. Well, that's nice. Thurzo does not. That's nice. And Wick also does not. So the main places are Elgin and Aberdeen definitely need goods. Does Dundee? No. So we need to set a train to go from here and back up here and offload stuff over there. There is a ridiculous amount of stuff waiting here. What is that? 430 fish. Jesus. That's a lot. So whatever the fish train is It's one of these. Rail freight distribution. Uh, manage the vehicle. I'm going to duplicate this. Yes, I know. Adds more more traffic. I want to change it up. So it's uh, no, no, no. Give me, give me the the mechanic symbol. All right, remove them. Go to diesels. Forty-one variants in here. I'm sure we'll find something. Uh, I think a BR blue, old school. A regional railways number. I like the LNER parcels. I'd like uh, an EWS to it as well. Modify. I right, don't know. Oh, that train is being launched from there. So it's unfortunately not going to get any of this, these fish. Thank you, fish. Come on, buddy. You need to go faster. Okay, but we are going to unload goods to here. And there are trucks taking con mats. And we're going to have to do goods. Right, let's build the line. There is something else I would like to do today, and that is to get fuel from Carlisle sort of down towards the the Preston area. I don't know how one is going to do that. In fact, I would like it to come along here and maybe branch off and go in there. Get a freight sort of hub terminal in this side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So that's something we need to do after because there's a train that goes from here. In fact, it's sitting right there. It's waiting for a full load that it will never get. It's terribly underutilized, so I want to I want to add add more utilization to that train, basically. Uh, which way are we going? Well, it would be nice to go out this way. That's going to be a slight headache uh, headache for us. Is it going to be a slight headache? Yeah, because it sort of needs to come from this side. I mean, what I could do is take it, tunnel it from there. Okay. Okay, it's not, it's not, it might not be too bad. Right, so let's add a section of track, right? So we're, basically we're going to pop out this way from here. Uh, I'm going to make it this section definitely katanaried because... Definitely at some point. You are not flat. Now you're flat. No. What's going on here? Have that go there. Yeah, that's going to interfere with that train. Yeah, at some point, even though it's going to be diesel, because it needs to go up to Aberdeen and, Inver and uh, Elgin, etc. We can possibly have other electric trains running along. So you have branched out. Uh oh. What's going on there? There we go. I want you to go under. So aim for. Like. There. 
roughly. Everything here is sort of crawled to a standstill. You're going to take off now. Yeah, go straight. And then we're going to see how this turns out. Alright, I need to start tunneling. I think... Because that looks pretty deep already. And this area here is in a sharp incline, although this area here is heading down the way. I think we will get a tunnel. Spoke too soon. No, no, we're good. You're good. Leave that, leave that there. Have that go around there. Now, other trains might change up the routes once this is added. If I build this to here, all right, is there any issue? Oh no, that's that is rather nice actually. Now the only problem is you might have built that on the wrong side. You did not. Well, that's good. I'm actually I'm really happy with the way that sort of turned out. Actually, I'm extremely happy with the way that turned out. Right, bring you back down to there how does that connect are you actually connected because it would seem to me as though you are not now you're trying to snap something else go there very nice now I'm gonna delete this depot I'm gonna have one line fold into there and then I'm gonna have another line come out and then come on to this line if I need it for future I maybe will, depending on whether Carlisle, etc. needs uh, goods. We need to check that. In fact, click on you. So you've got 42 plastic, 300 odd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this thing is not basically capped out, but it's basically waiting for the train to arrive and start picking stuff up. I don't know if it's still moving stuff to the platform, but... So Bristol and Banger has eight waiting for shipping, so they can't actually get. It does seem, right, that you can have, it looks like other places are actually getting their goods because the train will stop somewhere where another train is able to, uh, to pick up goods and take it further afield not necessarily a route that you've made personally for goods but trains in the other trains in the general facility that are not tagged to pick up specific things and can pick up say all cargo or different variations of cargo they will get those goods uh, those goods types tagged on to their their service which is not too bad. It is a large amount of micromanagement to try and set everything. Uh, I want you to come out there. Now I know it's not going to let me build because the autosave is currently doing its thing. But now I can build there. Okay. And then we want... What? What do you want? You're gonna need a diamond in there. You probably should have left room and leave a diamond in here. Although we might be able to sneak this in. <gasps> yes. Beautiful. Awesome. Right now, we need to build the lane. But I first need to signal up this area. I uh, definitely need that there. Into the tunnel of darkness it goes. Now I wonder, I do wonder if other freight trains may actually be using this. We can always check it out in a moment. That looks like most of the, the standard stuff is sticking where it needs to go to. None of the passenger trains at all should have sort of seen this and thought, oh, this is nice, I'm going to use this. They should all still stay on 
on the main line. They should not be deviating at all. Right now, this is pretty much we cool. Now, see, the weird thing is that apart from this little area here, Barrack upon Tweed seems to be behaving in an orderly fashion. Well done, Barrack upon Tweed. It's not gone rogue and tried to take over the entire map with its say. Although Sunderland and Newcastle are pretty much one city now. Okay, so that section is done. All the rest of the line should be... Wait, why have you not got anything on your... Last is das? You take goods, right? I'm pretty sure you do. It had goods before. It does take goods. Okay. It didn't pick up goods there. Although some of the goods from this are missing. Wait, hold on. Why did you... up 91 but you can pick up more is this one of those weird things where it's like I don't know why that didn't pick up more it really does need more it should have picked up everything there it's got four stops to go to Edinburgh Perth Glasgow and out to sort of the open direction That is extremely weird. That's very weird. I am slightly confused. That should have picked up. Last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many wagons do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I thought it was maybe 91 each, but I'm pretty sure it's like 117 each. I do not know why that did not pick up as much goods as I wanted it to. I'm, I'm slightly disconcerned. See, this one here is playing the game. It's getting tools. I don't know where the hell it's getting tools from. But it is getting tools. There we go. There's a wheelbarrow. The wheelbarrow is tool. And I would imagine that the, the branded containers are... Are uh, good. Right, moving swiftly on. Let's get this stuff... Right, so we're already delivering stuff to Edinburgh. I kind of want you to go out here. Now I will have to set up a truck route for that and then you're going to continue on your glorious path to here. Wait, is that the freight station? It absolutely is. Okay, let's see which path of darkness that is taken. So it's coming out this way, it wants to go, it actually wants to go back this way, which I would imagine is possibly fine. Right? This might be a shorter route for it to head back. And then it's going around there. Well, is it a shorter route? I guess it saves it from being on the East Coast Main Line for a spell. I don't understand why you're crossing back over that way. That seems odd. That's okay. Right, let's change this up. So this will be RLF Goods Scotland Northeast. Alright, paint you as orange. There we go, it's taking the new section of track. 
which is nice. I'm still very confused as to why that other train. There is steel finally rolling in too. <laughs> Although it must have rolled in before. No, it hasn't. Because this is the first time this place has got steel. Okay, that's interesting. I need to launch a train. I need to set up the, the trucks first. No, 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 no. Just go for Go for this. Go for this, my friend. Now, it's coming in on that second line. Pretty positive. Pretty sure. Are you sure? Maybe. Maybe not. But we can do this, right? And then double slip switch that, right? That's now a thing. Yay. And you're lost. Yeah, we need a depot. I was lost for a second there. My brain went totally blank. Not for the first time today. And it will certainly not be the last. Right, let's have you. Right, buy vehicle. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I want to get? One of these in Scott Rail. Add that. Cargo. I kind of would like to use this. In fact, I am going to use this. In fact, I'll use the ones with the... Or do I want to use some of these? These have got slightly lower... I want the this the IWB wagon. 8 ton, 25. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, each of these wanted like 90 or something, right? So... Capacity of 200 sounds good to me. RLF Goods Scotland Northeast. RLF. You've gone past Goods, idiot. There we go. Scotland Northeast. Okay, marvelous. You have finally, finally delivered steel. Well done, train. <laughs> it took it a while, but it got there in the end. And our Scott Rail number is peering out at the back. Dating. Well, dear to pick up some goods and head to the northeast. Who the hell is this? Who are you? Ah, you're in a plastic train. I like the tank wagon, the ISO tank. It's nice. Nice touch. I love these wagons because there's, instead of just having everything be the same constantly, 100% of the time, like, for example, these. These do look the part. But they always look the same unless you maybe change the color. Whereas the container flatbeds and change up all the time. It might be Maersk. It might be OOCL. It could be anything. Freightliner wagon. Uh, container. So it's nice. Stuff gets changed up. It's really cool. Right, so you are probably not going to have goods. Ah, you actually do. Scotland Northeast. Eight. That's nice. We need to set up trucks, though. And then we're going to have a, a sort of peruse around the map. Because I think there's a few things I still need to sort of change up and add. Yeah, so we definitely want more fish for this. This is only getting like 60. I maybe should have changed them to a 50-50 split. I'm sure it's going to be fine for the moment. Uh, there's 58 and 43 fuel waiting here. Wait, what? Oh, your fuel abs. 
There's a lot, there's a lot of mixed stuff waiting for RLT, Arms, York. So fuel is roughly just getting thrown around all over the place. Right, so this train is waiting because this train here is stuck. This train here is also stuck. We have added a new train in that line. It should not even be close to in the region of being near any of these. I'm going to add that there. Okay, so that is that has forced that train to move. It's also forced this train to move. What was the major malfunction here? I think it what it was is we possibly need more signals down this way. Yeah, you should have been able to go. This other train behind here should have always been able to go. Oh, well, there's the cement wagons. Alright, you can go whatever you are, fuel for Aberdeen, probably. You're now stuck, waiting for him to pass. Okay. I mean, what I could do is add one of those large container wagons, or a small container wagon to this meat and fish line. I might do that, maybe, perhaps. We shall see. Alright, so we're trying to clear more fish. Our goods train is just popped out into the open there. Which is nice. So you continue on. I do want to fix this Carlisle fuel train. What I want to do though is possibly add more grain. Alright. So here's a grain train rolling in. These guys have absolutely demolished all the grain that was possibly available. It's got a 400 capacity, which is a lot. And the grain is down here. Is there two trains on here? There are. Let's try and get a third. Because the other one is all the way at the top. Uh, we want a capacity of 400. Uh, diseases, yes please. Uh, what's in these ones again? I mean, Advenza Freight is like bust, right? There is no Advenza Freight anymore. I like the fast line train. We're going to get a fast line train and pair it with... You. Cargo. Uh, yep. 400 worth this by set you on the line RLF green Norwich to Hull that is the one that's the one we're looking for alright so you go Alright, now there's not going to be 400 waiting for you presently, although it is it is going to get there sharpish. Now what you also get as well is there's a couple of oil rigs just off of Norwich, so I'm thinking about getting some of them in. Some way, somehow, maybe bringing the trains down, or maybe coming around the back this way. Yeah, 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 okay. So that's going to be something for a, another episode as well. How do these look? I, I like the fast line. I like the. For some reason, I like greys on trains. I don't know why. Although the Advenza freight is very colourful as well. 
It's a nice model. It kind of clashes with the green. Oh well. There you go. Take all the time you need, buddy. There's not 400 yet. There we go. There's one of our newer greater Anglia numbers. Perfect. Ipswich driver asleep at the wheel or checking his imaginary phone. Awesome. <laughs> right. So I think we'll leave it there for that episode. Uh, I actually do need to do the goods freight for Aberdeen. I do believe possibly. Maybe. Now what's this? Combat? Then we can't take Combat, so hold the fort. Uh, what am I looking for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for this. I'm right, looking for that specifically. Right. So where? Bang! It's straight in there. That's going to cover like almost everything. Okay, and it goes there. Four of thirty-two. You were obviously waiting for a long time. Okay. What do I want to do now? Oh, I, I want to create a freight route for <laughs> a road freight route. Right. Let's have you go there. Uh, you are heading to this one here, and this will be. RDD, oops, a daisy. RDD. Goods. Abs. Okay. Excellent. Right. Trucks. Where's the truck station? Uh, truck depot's over here. My vehicles, and um, we've used quite a few of them today. I quite like these, the smaller ones. I don't know why. Kane okay, Eagle, Ewarts, Enterprise. Let's get a DHL truck. Bye. Set you on a line. You are going to be already the goods. Abs. Off you go, good sir. Right, so that is going to drum up at least some. Ah, uh, Combat, Edinburgh, yes. Goods, where are you, my friend? And you start coming around past Dundee, so you're in, you're in, you're in the a sort of hellish area where there are lots of trains. Are you going to beat this class 43? It would be interesting if you did. Okay, so Dundee has got a lot of passengers. That's fine. There we go. Fuel train heading around there. In desperate need of a clean, it looks like. Yeah, the frame rate is starting to go, so I'm, I'm kind of glad that we're almost near the end of this this series. There's not many passenger lines to down. We're not going to get all freight to everywhere. That's insanity. And then once my new GPU is acquired and the other system, the new system is built, uh, we'll be golden. It's a nice shot. Ah, nice. Uh, wait, I thought this was a... Uh, I thought that LNER train was that. Alas, it is not. Uh, oh well, continue on there. But yeah, we'll leave it there for that episode. We'll get a passenger episode done next I'm actually going to venture on to Nimby Rails after this and do a 
a couple of lines, but as you can see, it's starting to get a lot more laggy, stuttery as the game goes on. I obviously lost my ability to three times speed stuff many, many moons ago, so everything just sort of goes at normal speed, perhaps maybe slightly slower, because these trains just do not feel like they're heading at 73 miles per hour. But hey ho, it is what it is. But yeah, we'll leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there is more you would like to see in the future, then hit that subscribe button. I've been Danny Boy, and this has been Transport Fever 2 on the UK map, and I will catch you later.